This week on Destination Fabulous, we are taking I-80 West, about two hours west of Salt Lake City, on a haunted history walking tour. The city we're visiting today is called Wendover. I used to be a lounge singer at the casinos here, and uh, let me tell you right now, if you want to get into trouble, this is the city to come to. But I'm not here to get arrested today, I'm here to share a gift, the gift of history. Wendover Field was initially established in 1940 after Congress appropriated funds for the acquisition of land to meet the Army's need for additional bombing and gunnery ranges. Its isolated location and virtually uninhabited land made Wendover an appealing choice. In addition, the area generally had excellent flying weather and the nearest major city, which is Salt Lake City, was about 125 miles away. Wendover was also easily accessible by rail because the area was serviced by the Western Pacific Railroad. As the Air Force Base was used to test atomic bombs, it played a key role in World War II. More on that in a minute. Even though the base did close in 1963 and it sits rotting, it's still very active with paranormal activity. Many years ago, my paranormal investigative team and I were given access to the base and we spent the weekend there. So I'm going to share just some stories with you from different investigations, but for the most part we're just going to drive around, look at all the buildings. Also if you hear me talking to someone, I did have a friend with me on this little visit, so it's not a ghost, don't worry. But let's drive around and check this place out. It's pretty damn neat! Here we are at the pool at the Air Force Base. Also, the shooting location for the film Con Air, starring Nicolas Cage and his forehead. What do you think? Is that, is that rude? I shouldn't say that. I have a big forehead too. There's enough to go around for everyone. Not like Nicolas Cage. Well, thank you. Look at this pool, you guys. Cool, right? There's the old changing rooms. And look at how the pools were so deep. And you had to walk down a little stairs. Oh, there's a little plane in the distance. So this pool... service the families of those in the military here. They say you can hear the sounds of children laughing in the changing rooms. I'm trying to show people this pool that's haunted. Why don't you go in there and do it? It's illegal. We don't break laws, guys, when we go exploring. Oh, I'm a terrible assistant. Then we have this foundation here and this here is the side of the old machine shop so it had all of the equipment that people use to make shit. and oh look rabbits just flying all about um i don't know a lot about this building but i know it's seen better days <laughs> so the night before the enola gay which i'll talk to you about more set off to bomb hiroshima the troops and their ladies held a dance in this very hangar and I did get a chance to spend the night and we did some fun stuff with old music from the 40s played records the whole night to see if we could get more people to materialize but no such luck this building is very haunted though they say Interesting, right? What do you think, Santi? It's super interesting. Mm. I thought so. I've heard about this place. Yeah? Intimate details. <laughs> Did it involve me on a boxing <laughs> ring with girls? Perhaps. Oh, well, we'll be visiting that location too. <laughs> Well, there's that. Speaking of the Enola Gay, 
Do you guys at home know what that is? And no, we're not talking about me. It's the name of a plane. The plane that dropped the bomb on Hiroshima. Well, it was housed in that hangar down yonder. Let's go take a look at it. Very bumpy road. Yes, I should have. I was meeting me. Oh. Remember, you guys, you can come out here and take a look at this Air Force base, but please do so with the utmost respect. I feel like there's cops chasing me. You know what I mean? It's your imagination. It's not my imagination. Okay, I don't see any. There's cops. a chimney there, y'all. In case you want a chimney. <laughs> wow, they've renovated the hangar. It looks so much better than it used to. Okay, this is the airplane hangar that held the Anola Gay. Plane that changed the course of history as we know it. I did investigate this hangar and I will say it is pretty damn spooky at night. That is it's a nice shade of green. That's the same shade of green I'm painting my house. So good job, Wendover Air Force Base. <laughs> Holy Jesus! Well, what we can see here, y'all, are the hangers. The hangers? The barracks. These are the barracks where the boys would live. Now, if that doesn't look spooky to you, then I don't know what does. I used to go in here as well, but I had permission, so you guys do not go in here without permission. And I don't know who you would talk to, but don't talk to me, because I can't give it to you. And right there's the mess hall where they would have their meals those of you who don't know, there's also a boxing ring set up in the middle of the mess hall where the boys would fight when they would get restless. Pretty cool though, right? I do have an award-winning photo of this area. I'll have to find it. So as you can see, there's just a ton of old buildings here that are creepy AF. And then a random daycare center just hanging out there for the people of Wendover to use right now. But little pieces of history all around that you can visit. Should we take him to the hospital? Let's take him to the hospital. That place is haunted. Let's go find it. This, folks, was the infirmary, the hospital. And it's pretty creepy. I spent the night in this building as well 
And I don't know if you can tell by looking at this, but it's pretty much a fort of hallways that go around a courtyard that's outside. They did this because they wanted the patients to have sunlight no matter where they were in the building so they could recover faster. When I spent the night in this building, we did keep hearing people run past us in the hall was as we sat in this long hall right here, which you see the exterior of the windows. That's just a hallway that connects you to the main operating rooms. This is definitely one of the creepiest buildings here, to me anyway, on this site. It's just very interesting. Should we get out and walk around? What do you think? Don't forget to like and subscribe, y'all. smells very haunted. Is there a ghost in there? It smells like the log ride at Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm. Again, I'm only walking around these buildings because there's no signs about trespassing here, but I'm also not going into the buildings. It's not hard to imagine why this place would be haunted. I've always liked this building in particular. I don't know why. I just always thought the windows were kind of cool. And as a photographer, it just photographs really well. It's hard to see. There's been so much vandal. Vandal? There's been so much vandalism, as you can see with the broken glass everywhere. And this is all boarded up. It didn't used to look like this. But you know, these buildings have had it. Look at that. Are there any spirits in here that wanna make contact? If you're in here, give me a sign. If you can imagine at night, this place is super eerie. Just look at that wood. There ain't no fix in this building. My phone's being weird. Yeah. And again, that's the hospital. Very cool. What do you guys think? Do you, would you investigate this place if you had the chance? I would, again. That's pretty creepy. What do you think?
would just spend the night in this building by yourself. That was a rhetorical question for my viewers. Oh my gosh. But if you would like to spend the night here, you totally could. What's in there? I'm pretty sure this was a nursery of some kind or a daycare before they built the other one. And it has nothing to do with, is there anything in here that's for kids? I don't know. If anyone knows this area, let me know in the comments if you know what this building was. If you're ever in Wendover, Utah, I highly recommend checking out the Wendover Air Force Base. It has an energy and just a vibe that you can't find in many places. Do I think this place is haunted? Absolutely. But you don't have to just take my word for it. Oh my god, I sound like the guy on Reading Rainbow right now. Well, you know what I'm saying. The place is creepy, it's haunted. I mean, what's not to love? Go check this place out. There's a visitor center, and I'm sure there's plenty of people that have a story or two to tell you. That's going to do it for Destination Fabulous this week. And remember, keep it paranormal. If you guys love fun or haunted road trips, doing DIY projects at the home, or cooking, please like, subscribe, and tell all your friends about me. Okay? Bye!